Hi everyone, it's Friday. I hope you're doing really well. I haven't got ready for the day yet. It's almost two. I have a lot of things to do today and I just thought I would share with you what I'm going to use. Um, I, <laughs> I had tried to do an eye look that was a little off the wall and it looked really horrendous so I just sort of washed it off and started over. But I am going to show you a few new things. First I'm going to start off with, I've already primed my face with the Veil primer, but I'm going to use this Graftobian um, foundation in the color Prima Donna. It looks like this and what I do with this is I just take a Q-tip or you know a spatula if I were working on a client but just a Q-tip and I'm just going to scrape some of this out and put it on my mixing mirror. That was probably a bit much but I'll show you how much you use of this. I bought this on Amazon um, for $14.99. I have the palette for clients and I really love it. So I use about that much. It's not very much at all. And then I take a foundation brush as you know as I usually would. So let me see which one I have in the brush tree. Right. I'm going to use the Urban Decay one. I haven't tried it with this yet. So I just am really excited to show this to you because that's a really good price for a good foundation and this looks really good in pictures. So I'm just going to start buffing it in. Um, Michelle Makeup MLC and I were talking about this formulation. She says it's not great for dry skin. Um, I have oily skin so it's not really an issue but but I do think it's a really nice foundation. The price is certainly right. It's so easy to use too. I mean aside from the kind of fooling around with the Q-tip. But I mean you don't really have to. I just choose to. I suppose I could take the brush and just sort of, sort of go over the pan. But that's, I don't know, I'm a germ phobe. So I don't know if you can tell but I, I like the finish of this. And it's, for me it's the perfect color. And that, again that's Prima Donna. It's like an NC20. And that's how it looks. So there's the foundation. I'm going to set that with an ours powder. And I should have kind of done a haul when I got some stuff, but I didn't. And I think I owe you a really big haul. So I'm just going to set that with this powder on a, this is the airbrush brush, 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 brush. Okay, so there is that. Doesn't even really, I don't believe, need a concealer. I still need an under eye concealer though, so I'm going to take boots. And I don't know, someone asked me this, but I always prime under concealer. I think it's a necessary step. Okay. Alright, so that is foundation and powder. I'm going to use Tarte's Blissful Blush on the same 55 airbrush brush. This is from Tarte. Tomorrow is Josh Collier's meet and greet, which I'm really excited about. Of course I have met him, um, but I'm excited to go out there and support him. It's at Tyson's Corner from 5 to 9. so. Come say hi, that would be really fun. Let me know if you're going. Um, so I'm excited. I haven't been to that mall since my birthday, so it'll be fun. It's a good mall. So there's my brows. This is the Illamasqua Brow Powder in Motto. So, okay, that's generally the face is finished but I will um I think I'll do some I'll use a MSF if I can find one <laughs> here is the MSF in semi-precious crystal pink oh itchy nose all right just right there all right now I'm going to use this Kevin Aquan palette in the can't read it number one I think <clears throat> and it looks like this 
It's gorgeous. And I'm going to use the this cream color on the lids real quick. Actually, I'm going to use this tan. I love Kevin O'Quan products. They're so nice. Then I'm going to use this taupe, kind of a, it's almost a gray taupe. It's absolutely beautiful. And the crease. Okay. Underneath the lower lash line, I'm going to take that taupe again and just kind of line right there. I love this color, it's so beautiful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then I'm going to take this white color in the palette, put it right there in the tear duct. Okay, and then I will use this Annabelle black pencil and give it a go. In case you're wondering, Annabelle is a Canadian brand, I believe. <laughs> and then I'm going to hit the top of the upper lash line. Okay, and then I'm going to use some mascara. <clears throat> Here is the Voluminous Full Definition. I did a quick review on this. It's okay. It's not my favorite Voluminous, but it's good. Just gonna put on some lipstick and be finished. This is a very quick look of the day today. Um, this is Revlon Color Burst in Raspberry. All right, now I'm off and running. I hope you're having a great day. Have a wonderful weekend, and I will talk to you soon. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.